I love the fact that you meet people for the first time and for me it's a complete voyage of discovery. Sometimes for some people baby steps to the outside world are huge leaps for the individual. One of the people I was working with, a woman, um, had a difficult divorce, a difficult relationship with her ex-husband, um, very much in a situation where uh, she was still full of a lot of anger and bad feelings and wanted, wanted him to say something that, that would make her feel better, but there was a complete lack of, of communication on both sides. And a family event came up around their children and the woman absolutely knew that she would have to attend this family event for the children. Um, and she came to me and I said, I really just want something that will help me get through this so I don't have to see Bill and not want to smash his face in or throw, throw a vase at him or whatever. Um, because it was, it, of course, for her, it was a really, really big issue. So we worked together and I gave her some techniques to help her on a very specific focused period of time so that she had sufficient skills to help her through the event but also we worked around some of the other communication issues she could address in a more of a coaching framework. The day of the event came, I had an email from her to say it went off really well. The next time I saw her she said we actually sat down and had lunch and we were laughing. I never thought I would laugh at, with him again. It was fantastic for the family, it was really good, and for the first time in so many years, I feel that I made the first steps towards a better relationship with him. Now, having had the insight that she, she generously shared with me through our sessions about the difficulty she's experienced over many years, that one simple sentence, at last I feel that we've made some steps towards a better relationship, was almost the better, the better reward she could give me than anything else. Because I saw the difference in her. And more than that, I've seen a photograph of the event. And yes, they are all smiling. So it went off really, really well. Um, so that's a very specific example of how working with a coach through a difficult time in a relationship-based scenario as a result of a divorce has paid back dividends and I know she's going to go on and make those changes further that she needs for the family. Because when people um, realise there's a problem but they don't know what to do and it's about communication, that's a, sh a key indicator for me that they could benefit from some coaching. Um, because coaching is very much about asking people to consider their own reactions to situations and how they want to address the fears and concerns that they've got. And whereas we can introduce techniques around confidence building and around um, focusing and visualisation, imagining themselves in a the situation and experiencing the emotions that they're likely to feel so they can then do it in the real world, it's also very much about helping people to form the plans and to arrive at the right times to put those, those new techniques into practice. The coaching is the framework that supports people to actually put their details within that framework so that they can then um, result, get the results that they want through, through using the process and make it very seamless for them so that it's a very natural way of talking and speaking but getting to the desired result. professional career of over 30 years that's brought me into contact and close working relationships with lawyers, with mediators, with counsellors. I've been trained in counselling myself, um, with people who are dealing with negotiation, with social workers, with support services, with all kinds of, of people who help people in crisis. I've learned a great deal around um, various techniques, um, trained fully in coaching and, and NLP and various other disciplines um, that help this. I've also got a wide range of practical knowledge and practical resources to draw on which fill in the gaps that sometimes the services in the formal setting don't uh, leave. For example, I've been trained in finding grants, grant giving organisations and other financial benefits and entitlements for people that's away from the mainstream benefits, which 
sometimes can be very helpful to particularly women going through divorce who may have to be looking at how to maximise all their resources. The coaching will give you communication skills, it will give you the ability to plan what you want, it will give you the, the option to create your own light at the end of the tunnel that you can work through as you come through the end of your divorce process and actually get the life that you really want to create. People say to me, is there life after divorce? My role is to show you, yes there is, it's the life you want. Tell, show me what you want and I'll help you get it.